Okay, so in this video I want to look at a file, uh, an FLA, a, a, uh, an animate file that we've already, I've already created. It's, it's quite complex and I want to show you what the project looks like. Um, and uh, then we can kind of break it down and have a look at how we might start making some of those uh, animatable um, scenes. So instead of hitting create new this time, I'm going to hit the open button and navigate to my folder structure. Now before I actually open it, I just want to have a look because uh, I called mine young people these days. Now within it, I've got all the different elements. Um, you'll see that they'll make sense soon. Um, I've got the audio options. Now I think if I look at the audio, there's probably voiceovers. There's probably, um, yeah, different, different background uh, tracking sounds. There's different images um, that I needed to use or I use all the way through. I've also got a folder called FLA. So that's my animate files and my exports. Keeping those all together organized is really important in any animation or any uh, motion or video project. Um, so let's just have a quick look at what I've got here. Um, there's my bouncing ball uh, that I think I showed earlier and then I've got a couple of versions of this. Um, I will open the uh, 14th of April version as I know that that was the last time I touched it. So I'm going to hit open and again a bit like what we've talked about already we can see that there's something now interesting happening on the stage. I've got some kind of superhero and some kind of graphics going on. I'll break down what that is. I've got lots of things happening down here in my timeline. Let me just drag. This is quite useful to see if I've got lots and lots of layers. Look, loads of layers going on. So I'm just going to drag. I don't want to drag that up too far because I won't be able to see the stage, but let's just drag that up a little bit so I can see what's going on down there. Um, and I also want to just note that if I click, so this is, uh, this is my um, my video it says here kids these days because I could have lots of different files open that I'm working between I've got one but I've also got something here and it says edit scene so I'm just going to drop down and I can see here that these are my scenes that are within my movie and this is a bit like paragraphs within a chapter or or sentences within a paragraph so this is the way I can kind of break um, things up now uh, part of the specification is to use scenes. So this is why I'm going to start with this and I thought it'd be a good idea to look at what a project looks like and then go back to actually start from scratch. Um, so let's go to the very first scene, which is titles. Okay. Um, now again, I probably don't need to have my timeline quite as much. I don't know if I'm seeing everything. Uh, I've also got this grid on. Now um, I might view grid I've got show grid. I'm gonna. I, I might switch that off. So I, it was just helping me kind of line things up. So just again, that's view, grid. I've also got rulers. I've got snapping things that you can experiment with. But I turn that grid off. And up here, I'm gonna just go down to about seventy-five percent, so I can kind of see what's going on on the stage and off the stage. You can also see that my cat on the right here, actually fits a little bit off the stage. That's fine. It's got a slightly rough edge. Nobody sees that. Doesn't matter. So I've got some text um, and I can see down the bottom I've got various things going on. So let's uh, let's have a quick look. I've also locked up some of the layers but not all the layers. So let's just scrub through from the very beginning. So um, my stage colour is set. Okay, I've got uh, I've got my cat layer happening. Now if I click on my cat you can see my cat's on the right, um, which is kind of interesting. Now, this is actually when I click on the cat itself, it, this suddenly comes up and says it's a movie clip. I'll explain what those are uh, in a moment, but that's quite important, um, the type of image that I've got here. So cat layer, uh, let's just switch the other, uh, sorry, let's scrub through. And so as I move to the right, I can see that I've done one of those um, classic tweens where my my text not a not a picture not an image not an object but text is now coming in from the left and as it comes in it hits the middle my hey guess what it's called screen time and then i've got like a sub uh title coming in a study on young people's media consumption 
Um, and yeah, and let's see, it goes right the way through to the end. And then I think what's happening here is that the tween now is actually between uh, full opacity and zero opacity. So it, it looks like it's blending right out. And at the very end, my cat comedically slides off to the right. So there you go. That's what happens. Let's have a quick look. Watch. Let's watch this scene. Now, because I've got lots of scenes, when I test the movie, it will show the whole movie. Um, but let's see that anyway, because I can always stop it. So I'm going to hit test the movie and just look at that first scene. Now, the cat's eyes are also doing this weird dilation thing. That's the movie clip, which we'll talk about. And then the rest of the movie starts. So you can preview this. I've given you all the files and I've given the exported file. Um, and you can get an idea of what that looks like. So, OK, so there's scene one. So let's just go back again. I won't go through all the scenes. But you get the idea that when scene one ends, it goes straight into scene two, which goes straight into scene three etc etc and it finishes I think my final scene is the CTA that's the call to action and if I just go to the very end of this let's just scrub through again the call to action here is that we kind of from our data we've created this idea about I think I've got three different uh, age groups that we're focusing three different trends about their different their media habits um, and this gives me the call to action at the very end where it sort of says, come on, we shouldn't be, you know, let's try and get down to, to one minute. Um, uh, one minute, one hour, one hour per day or whatever suggested. Um, just interestingly as well, uh, in my layers, I've got this strange looking thing here. This is an audio file. And uh, let me just check that I have got audio on, which I have. Because it should. There we go. So if I actually play this now, let's just go back to about here. You'll see that when it hits this orange shape, that's a, an audio file. Something. Ignore that. Let's go. So let's just hit this button. Play. Meow. There we go. Um, and I've also credited Vector Easy and Ben Sound, where I got some of the sounds from and some of the images from. Um, I probably need to say something else there, but that just gives them, that's just a good, really good practice. So um, the only thing to say here is I've shown you where the scenes are and how to navigate between the scenes. But actually, if I want to add a scene, um, so let's say, let's go, we're at CTA, we're at the end of our film. We think we need just one more piece in here. Um, let me show you how to do that. So if I go to window and scene, there's my scene dialog box. Let's just drag that out so we can see what we're doing. OK, um, we've got all the different scenes that we've been working on. All I have to do now is hit that plus button and I've got my scene nine. Now, I don't want that. I'm going to delete it. So again, um, are you sure you want it? I am. Also worth knowing is that I can drag scene, my title scene, for example, click it, highlight it, and then I can drag it. You see that yellow line? So again, it, I can change the order if necessary. And also with animation, really important is that I can duplicate things. So it might be that you have scenes that you want to, you know, you only want to make it once, but you want to duplicate it and then show it further down or flashback to it or whatever. So so that kind of covers scenes. Um, if that dialog box gets in your way, um, you can always click those little buttons there and um, unclick it if, if you want to see it again. So that's scenes and that's really, really important. So um, in the next video, we're going to actually look at first of all creating some of this animation and starting to understand what the what these different types of symbols are